Hello everyone. Well, for today's video, I thought that I would put together this wooden kit that I bought at the craft store a few days ago. And when I get done, hopefully it should look like a covered wagon. So we'll see. So let's get started. This is what it should look like here, but not painted. Let's see what our pieces are. Got a little piece of cloth here. I think that's going to be the cover for the wagon. And some wire. And then many blocks of wood. And the instructions are down here. So let's move this stuff off. And I'll put the instructions over to the side to refer to them. Now I did start this video once before and I was not recording the sound so I did get a little ways into it and but luckily I didn't get too far along so I just decided to start over. So what I did learn is to put this together you basically need to follow the picture here for how the pieces go together. The instructions are, there's eight steps, but it basically is referring to pieces A, B, and C, and you do much better by just looking here at the little images to figure out how it goes together. So I'll put these off to the side here, just in case I need them. Okay. And how this goes together is we have four wheels here. We have two axles. We have two holders that hold the axles to the body. We have the sides of the covered wagon, and there's little holes drilled in here where the wire will go. And these are the front and back of the wagon. And these will be the seat. It will go like that. And then these two pieces will go in between the axle and the body. And this one has a notch cut out of it that we will put this hitch in like that, okay? So, the first thing we wanna do is glue these down. You can see where I've already done it once, but we're gonna do it again. Since having sound in your video is important. So I have some wood glue here and I have a little stick to spread it with. And we are going to get a little like this and then spread it evenly along the face here. Just a nice thin coat. And we're going to place that down like that. Make sure it's fairly even and straight. parallel to the edge because that will determine how our axle fits on our cart and if it's crooked it won't roll straight. So 
And we'll put another coat here. We'll place this on this side. Okay. Now, the next thing that happens is the axle holders go on like that. And first of all, we want to put this in here. So we'll put the glue on the inside of this notch. Make sure we get some on the sides as well. So that it holds all the way along. That fits in very nicely. Rub off some of the excess glue. Okay. So it's starting to look like something. And then we just need a little bit here on both of these edges. Not very much at all. We do want to cover the whole thing. We'll do the same thing for this one here. Make sure that that is nice and straight. And we will let that dry. And let's fit our axles into our wheels here. It's a very tight fit. I guess it should be. And they stay on. So we can... I'm going to dry fit these first all the way in. So that it will be easier to fit them on later. There we go. I take it off. You can see how it's indented the wood a little bit, which is what we want. Okay. So there's that one. Let's do this one here. It's almost like screwing on something on a needle, um, a screw or something. Quite tough. Let's do this too. Okay. And 
almost don't need glue. That's such a tight fit. So now what we want to do is put the wheel and axle together for one. And put that through like that. And then attach the wheel on the other side. So I do want to get a little glue. Most of it will be squeezed out. But there'll be enough to form a nice tight bond and they won't wiggle loose later. Let's do the other one here. Just a little bit. And then fitting it onto the axle. Okay, there we go. So now we have these two. So we're pretty loose in there. But that's okay, I guess that's kind of like a suspension system, right? And a little bit of glue. And we want to be very careful. We want to be very careful wiggling this on that we don't disturb the part that's drying. So I'm going to turn it like this. Now it's even on both sides. And we'll do the same thing on this side. There is the bottom of our covered wagon. I think it's dried enough that we can flip it over. It rolls freely. That's nice. Okay. Well, the next step is to put the sides on. Like that, and put the front and back on. And what I'm going to do is let this dry for just a little bit, and I'm also going to raise the camera up a bit so that you can see more of this covered wagon. Okay, be back in one second. Okay, so I pulled the camera back a little bit, so hopefully, you'll be able to see our next steps clearly. And the next steps are putting these pieces on the top to form a box all the way around. Like that. So the first thing I'll do is I'll start with these side pieces and I'll get them glued down and then I'll put the front and the back on.
so just like before a small amount of glue it will dry faster because this is wood glue it'll be very strong Just line that right up with the edge like that and move on to the next side. Okay. like that. Now the front and the back. For these we want to do the bottom as well as the sides. And that slips in there very snugly. I'm getting all this in frame. I have to focus on the actual gluing, so I can't really tell on the framing of it. I have to be careful of that. Okay, so then this one will go kind of like that. Gently squeeze it together. glue there. I think I'll wipe this off without causing too much havoc. There we go. And that seam is nice and neat. Okay. I think that works pretty well. The next thing we need to do is put the little seat together and it goes on. So I'm going to move this out of the way temporarily. Just put some glue here. And then just glue that down at a right angle. and let that dry. So I'm going to put that to the side as well. Now while all of that is drying, we can work with our wire and our cloth. And the cloth is going to loop up like this and cover our wagon. And this wire is going to support it. So we want to cut three lengths of this wire that are the width of this cloth. So let's untwist this and find the edges. Okay. Make sure I don't tangle these up, but I don't know that that was 
entirely possible. a little bit. Okay. This seems to be way more than we actually need. So let me just start with one strand of this wire and see if I can straighten it out. At least just a little bit. So now we want to cut it so that it is the length of this cloth. And I'm going to cut it a little longer because I can always trim it down if I need to. And I have a little wire cutter here in my Swiss Army knife. So I'm going to snip it off right there. And see if I can get fairly equal lengths of this wire. Okay, now it's too short, so we'll set that aside. And we will use one of these. this one out as well. Okay. And then trim it off to about the same length. It is very wiggly wire, but maybe that just adds to the rustic nature of the covered wagon. Okay. Well, let's see how our wagon is doing here. Seems like the glue is holding fairly well. So let's put some glue here on the bottom of this seat. And that goes right like that. There we go. Now, let's see these wires. They slip right in like that. and I can't zoom the camera out anymore. So the top of this will just be cut off. And then this drapes down over the sides like that. And that gives us our covered wagon. So it says to glue the cloth to the wires. So, let's put a thin coat of glue on these wires. And 
and you can tell this is going to be very messy. Be careful here. Concentrating on here. I don't want one of these wires to fly, fly out and get blue all over the place. Okay, and that should be enough. And I'm just going to start on this side. And drape it over like this. Looks like I may have to hold it to make sure that this sticks. You may need to get a little more glue. Always add more. It's difficult to take away. Uh oh. More wires came out. I don't know how much of this you can see. But I fear an impending disaster. So I'm going to try this. Since this glue is kind of already marked out where these wires should be. This way. And make them stick. And then put the cover on the wagon. It's not a very clean task. Especially looking at it from this side. I just need to get the glue. To soak in between the wire and the cloth. Like that. And since I imagine that this will be a long and tedious process, I'm going to stop the video here and then work with this a little bit more and show you guys the final product, okay? I'll be back in a bit. Well, after several attempts to get that cloth to glue to the wire, um, I've concluded that it's not 
really that possible. Not without making a huge mess. I almost glued the cloth to this cloth. So, I have made a very nice uncovered wagon for this video. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. And please subscribe to my channel. I have many more ASMR videos to make for you guys. And if you have any suggestions for things you would like me to do, please let me know. And I will try to do them for you guys. Okay? Thank you for watching.